I started kind of looking through like the the um, the guy the fan art and the guides and stuff like that. Um, and there was one person that was really impressed. And I, I want to show it off, show, show them off because they did such a good job. Um, okay, Cozy Tees. Yeah. She, okay, as a graphic designer, I love and appreciate when people put the effort into it. And she does these guides. I think, yeah. So she designs this whole thing. And I'm like, this is really well done. Um, like really well done design work and then she covers like the best weapons the pros and cons of the character artifacts to use uh talents and level up. so it's like she goes through all of these things and i was like this is really well this is damn good you know like i can appreciate when somebody somebody puts the effort in like um anshin she calls this anshin and the cool thing is she actually explains what anshin means uh hang on there's right. So, Anshin is a Japanese term that can be translated as peace of mind or inner peace. It describes the state of mental and emotional well being that comes from being content with life. And this magazine will cover different builds and techniques for each character. Like, that's her that's her design style. And I appreciate that. That's really well done. And um, the cool thing was, she was, she's actually really open to like feedback and stuff. I always try, whenever I talk, when I see something, I want to be, I want to contribute. So, I'm like, I kind of preface, I was, I've been a designer since 99. I said, uh, the only place I might make a suggestion on the talents page is even though there's a differentiation between headers, subheads, and body cap, the page could use a little more white space to break up the sections, perhaps reducing the font size or letting and adding more margins would give the eye a place to rest, as it's a lot of text to look at, so a place to let the eye rest could help. Aside from that, it's beautifully well done. I was like, yeah, totally impressive. So I always try to give, you know, constructive feedback. Like, not to say that my, my advice is 100% correct. If I see something I think can help, you know, so this is her is about, um, oh God, what's her name, Ayaka. And um, I didn't even know who Ayaka was until I finally got to the, um, started doing the uh, the uh, uh, the Archon quest for Inazuma. So let's see, like, yeah. So here's the talents page. So now she's actually broken this up. Like, this is beautiful right here. Clear, white space, like, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And it's so much easier for me to read it because like, if we go back to the Shen He, still not bad, but like, you have all of this on one it's one, it's like a big wall of text so i that's it, it's really well done and you know the good the mark of a good designer is taking what somebody suggests maybe looking at it and deciding and if it works great if not no problem i wouldn't have i wouldn't have been upset at all she's done a tremendous job and this is and the fact that it's free and she's let me see how many has she got does she have a collections like just not just posts here we go she's even done which is really cool um Silk flower collection roots, which is really kind of cool. This is the uh, live stream over. She even did this for the overview. Like, look at this. This is the 3.5. Like new characters, new weapons. Like this is really cool. She's like breaking it down. Like, dude. Oh, dude. She had the uh, redemption codes. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to this page. So. Um, but God, Bennett, Diluc, Ayaka, Ningguan, she actually did. Here we go. Silk Flower Root. I mean, the fact that she did this for the best way to collect 24 Silk Flowers and then Root 2, 21 Silk Flowers. Dude, if she did it for the um, the, the chilies, uh, Archon, oh, Archon War explanation. Like, dude, this is insane. Sumeru character lore. Uh, this, oh, this is, a, this is a different design style. This is nice. A little more of a okay. This is more of a character backstory, but this is even this is still good. I still like this design too. I'm glad she went to the eight and a half by eleven, the letter style format. But this, the square, like I could imagine this being on an accordion fold, you know, where it opens up, it's all folded together, and like this is your your cover, and then this is the inside, and, and this would really work well. It's like in a CD, like in the old case, in the old days, like a CD case, you know. Having like, I don't know, character art or something like that. But this is really cool. So I just wanted to geek out for a little bit. Because <laughs> I'm always impressed when I see somebody, you know, put that much effort into something that they're just posting for free and for people to use. So awesome right there.